Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Tinio Scene 1 and uh today we're just gonna continue where we left all last time with the uh Photon tutorial series and uh yeah this is just uh, the continuation of the first episode, so part two. And I again apologize for uh the the, the delay and also the fact that I was you know, I wasn't able to explain everything all that clearly and all that kind of stuff, so We'll get right back to it, and hopefully in the next episode, gain I can uh, recover from it. You could say I don't know, like the not being able to explain things well syndrome. So, yeah, see you guys there. So let's get started. So, what happens now? You know, we're just connected to the master server, right? Basically, this is just something really basic. This is uh, this this basically tells that we're we're in the master server. We're, we're connected successfully. Now, uh, based uh, based on the networking stuff, uh, what we might want to do is uh, we might not want to have we might want to have like a lobby camera or something. So, we can go ahead. We can uh, go to game object uh, camera and just create a lobby camera. So this is uh, this is going to be a lobby camera. And uh, let me let me tell you let me you know uh, give you some some cool technique or tip I suppose. So for example, I want this lobby camera uh, to move to the same position and rotation uh, of of the scene view. So like in, in the scene view, I'm looking at like this, right? But if I go into my uh, my game view, you see it's not looking like that. The cam the camera itself, right? It's it's looking differently, right? So what I can do is I can go and I can position my camera, my my viewing scene view uh, like this. And I can select the camera, and I can go to Game Object and say uh, Align with View. And if I go to my game screen, as you can see, it's uh, game scene. It's, it's like aligned with it, so it's pretty it's a pretty cool technique. It can be used for uh, different game objects as well. So yeah, cool stuff, right? And we can just call this uh, something like Lobby Camera. Also, one more uh, cool tip: uh, instead of like whenever you rename, you can go ahead and rename it by by going to the Inspector view when renaming, or you can like click on this and then click on it again. It just comes up with that, you know. Or what you can do is you can click on this and you can press F2, and you know you can just rename it directly, right? Cool stuff, yeah. So kind of fast than normal stuff, I suppose. Uh, the player should not be in the scene. Uh, what we want to do is we want to actually put the player outside, so we want to put the player so it's not like not in the scene at all. So what we can do is we can go to our assets folder, we can create a new folder, we can call this resources, all right. And uh, the reason we want to do this is because whenever we're spawning something through Photon, Photon requires all the game objects to be inside of a certain folder called resources, basically. So we need to put, uh, drag and drop uh, the FPS controller script inside of the resources folder right here, right? And we can just remove him from there. Okay, great. Now, what we want to do is we want to go back to our script. So, the first callback, uh, there's actually something called unconnected to master, which is called obviously when you, you're connected to the master server. For example, in case you don't want to directly join the lobby or something like that, you know. So you can, you can say something like, so how does this work? It's like it's a callback. It's, it's it's like a method which is called automatically once we're connected. This once, obviously. I'll we'll say public uh, virtual, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, virtual void uh, on connected to master, I believe. Uh, is that how it goes? All right, say okay. Um, so as you can see, it's it's called on connected to master, and basically we don't really need to use pun behavior. Uh, pun behavior is used in case uh, you want to actually. Uh, so these are like built-in functions, you can say, right? So in case you want to override these functions, you can you can use pun behaviors if you want to like build them from scratch. In this case, we should just use uh, full on and model behavior. So what what this is is basically uh, what what virtual means first of all is basically that like there's a function called on connected to master, uh, which is in you can say the base class. So we're inheriting from photon and model behavior, and that specific script has a function called on connected to master, right? Uh, and what we're doing is we're actually overriding that function. We're modifying that spe uh, specific method, and we're adding our own code to it. All right, we're just overriding it basically, right? So yeah, uh, we can we can uh, look more into it uh, at a later stage, I suppose. 
So, yeah. so once we're connected to master, uh, we can just try debug.log uh, to just check if it's actually working or not. Uh, we are now connected to master. All right. Yeah, let's try playing the game and see how that works. It actually, I think I say it didn't say it. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, try playing it now. So, uh, I believe this actually won't work unless I have this turned off. Uh, I have auto join lobby turned off. I think then, then it's gonna work. There you go. We're not connected to master, right? So basically, you know, th th this this is kind of skipped. If if auto join lobby is turned on, uh, you can use this to uh, basically search for, for example, um, I don't know, uh, different different servers uh, in a in a browser or something, right? Or a browser or something. But yeah, in, in our case, we're just gonna skip to the uh, join lobby, right? So we're not gonna use on connected to master. Instead, we're gonna say on joined lobby, right? Pretty basic callback, right? And we can just uh, say we're now uh, we have now joined the lobby all right uh this is just again for testing just to see the, uh, just to see if it's actually working so connected and join the lobby as you can see just one time so we, it just gets called one time we're not joined to the lobby now what we can do instead of the lobby is we can actually spawn in our player so uh what we can do is we can reference to two things all right so the player we can create a serialized field and a game object which we can call player all right then what we can do is we can create another serialized field and this will be another game object which is the lobby camera so we don't we don't want to keep the lobby camera we just want to disable the lobby camera right um like when we when we've actually connected we've, we've actually joined right so when, when we've actually joined the lobby uh what we can do is uh as i said this we won't be having uh, a server browser or anything right so we're going to jump right into it and we're going to connect to a room so we're just going to connect to a room and if a room exists uh if a room doesn't exist then we're going to create a room ourselves so what we can do is we can go something like photon network dot join or create room and then uh we can give it a room name uh in in this case i'm just going to go like this i suppose because yeah we're just creating a room and i suppose we can just go and type in null uh that works does that works i don't know uh okay i suppose we can just type in null and null <laughs> God, please work. Oh, that works. <laughs> uh, now, what this is, let's let's actually see if I can explain that. Uh, there's actually room options. Uh, you can go ahead and you can create a, uh, something like new room options. Uh, uh, R, uh, room options, you know, something like a new uh, temporary variable. And and you can say equals, uh, I don't know. Wait, sorry, uh, my bad. Not like that, right? So, and then you can say equals new room options, and I think it, uh, it doesn't have a constructor, okay. You can go ahead and change the room options something like uh, like the max player, the max count and stuff, and, and all that, and uh, I don't know, you know, uh, if, if it's open or not, I don't know, stuff like that. I think you can actually do that here as well. Uh, new room options. Uh, yeah, I, I have no clue. I think you can't sort of do that. But yeah, anyways, in this case, we don't really need any room options. We just want to connect. I just want to join uh, or create a room. So how this will work. Uh, what this will do is we'll, it will obviously join or create a room. So we can say uh, join room if it exists or create one. All right. And uh, yeah. Uh, so. So if I go back and I try playing the game now, it, you should have something, uh, you know, something different here. Uh, it's just gonna be like it's gonna join or create a group. Uh, oh my bad. Uh, I think you should have a you should uh, specify a name. So let's call it new, right? or you can even call it like this. So yeah. Let's call it new for the time being, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so connected to game server, joined. So we're finally in the game now. We've created a room, we're in the game. What what should we do now? Well, we're in the game, obviously we spawn in the player. So what we do is we go ahead and uh, we we say, we start, you know, preparations for joining. So there's actually another callback for when we've joined the room <laughs> and it's called 
you know, public again virtual because we're overriding it. Void on joined room. You know, it's as simple as that, right? And this is called obviously when we've joined the room. And what we can do is we can create, uh, we can actually instantiate the player, spawn in the player. Uh, we should also create an another serialized field for uh, spawning in, uh, for like the spawn point. So spawn point, I suppose. We could have multiple ones, but for the for for the meantime, I don't know. In the meantime, like for the time being, I suppose I don't know. Let's have this one. So we can say um, <clears throat> like instantiate uh, player. Uh, and then we can go ahead and say spawn point at position, uh, spawn point dot rotation. Uh, now again, we don't actually spawn in, uh, spawn the player this way, right? This is a flop. But uh, the way we actually spawn him is we say photon network dot instantiate, and I believe that it also has more callbacks. Yes, it actually has a group. Uh, groups could be used to, as it says, group certain objects. For example, you can have a uh, group zero for player, group one for items, group two for enemies, stuff like that, right? So it just uh, keeps it slightly more managed, I guess. And also, you can do that. You actually need a string, my bad. You need to provide it with a string. So what we can say is we can say player dot name. Uh, now, why do you need to provide it with a string instead of a game object? Well, when you provide it with a string, it searches through each and every resource folders, which are inside of Unity, basically, and it checks for that specific game object in the root directory of the resources folder. So if any game object matches a specific name, it's going to spawn in that game object, right? So let's go back and let's see if it actually works. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new empty game object. Uh, and I'm just gonna, you know, default it so it's zero, zero, zero. Let me move it slightly up, maybe uh, like one and stuff. And this is gonna be our spawn point. Uh, let's name it uh, spawn point. And uh, let's go ahead and go to our game logic. Assign the spawn point right there. Assign. Uh, we still haven't disabled the lobby camera. Let's go ahead and do that before. Uh, so once we've actually joined, we've actually instantiated. We can <clears throat> just uh, yeah. So spawn in the player. And we can disable the camera. So lobby camera that is set active, false. Just disable the camera with the lobby camera. So say uh, deactivate the lobby camera. So <clears throat> uh, we can just go ahead and assign in the lobby camera to the lobby. And now what we need to do is we need to assign in the game object's name. So resources, FPS controller. Now make sure it's in the root folder of, of this. So if it's actually not in the root folder, if it's actually like resources, uh, something else in here, then it's not going to work, okay? Uh, my bad, I think I placed there. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Let's try playing the game and see if it works then. Uh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Uh, we actually need to give it a something called a photon view as well, I forgot. So let's go ahead and give it a photon view. And that's that. Uh, right now, we don't really need to worry about this. We'll further get into detail about it. But yeah, so let's try playing it and see how it works. This time it should work. Let's see. There we go. So we finally spawned into the game and we've connected. We've joined to the room and everything is working as it should be. And uh, yeah, we've, the, the lobby camera is disabled as well, as you can see. We're using the, the player's camera and there's no errors or anything like that right pretty cool stuff right so uh yeah there now right now as you can see we you know even if we if i build the game and the other player joins in or something his position won't be sinking his rotation won't be sinking you know there, there's going to be a lot of issues uh there's uh, the, one one of which would be i believe uh that you'll be able to control both the players so a lot of stuff like that but we're not we won't be covering that uh yet uh, basically, what we covered in this tutorial, let's summarize, is basically how to connect. <laughs> Just a very basic Scott. I'm slow at this, yeah. I should I should really work on my uh, skills and all. But I hope uh, you guys were able to understand uh, that how all of this works. Okay. So yeah, uh, there's certain callbacks you can make use of, for example, uh, maybe like when you join the lobby, instead of just uh, creating a room, or, or maybe when you join the room, instead of just spawning the player right away, you can display a message which, which can like change your player's name or something. Uh, by the way, changing the player's name is as simple as just like, you know, photon network nickname, I think, I don't know, or .player nickname. Yeah, you can just change that to, uh, 
<laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, right now we don't really need to worry about that. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's something of something which which should be done quite late. I don't know. Uh, connect to the Photon server. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned something. And uh, you know, I hope it was something which you were expecting and not like really boring and, and long. And uh, God, I messed up uh, multiple times actually. I believe I messed up. Uh, uh, somewhere along along the lines uh, when I was like oh, what's happening uh, <laughs> but uh yeah yeah I'm uh, I'm no longer as, as uh, experienced in making tutorials as I was before god feels bad man hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I will see you in the next one uh, peace out I guess yeah that's the time again oh boy